Okay, how many yo-yos do I have? You have way too many! I didn't ask you, Wendell. Stay tuned because by the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how many yo-yos I have, learn a brand new yo-yo trick, and unbox a yo-yo that's worth over a hundred dollars. Okay, this year has been my yo-yo year. And what I mean by that is I got really into yo-yos, as you can tell. And some people have told me that I have an obsessive personality, but I like to say that I have a passionate personality. I was at my favorite store in the Mall of America, Air Traffic, and I bought my very first yo-yo. Ah! And now it's going to brush past your face multiple times. Ah! This may take a second. Don't wanna. Ah! <laughs> that was awesome. This yo-yo is the arrow. Um, Yo-Yo Factory, and it got me into yo-yoing. One of their workers helped me, and I got some strings and multiple bearings, and I learned a lot of really cool tricks. And that is what launched me off on all of this. So, let's go and break it down. For those of you who don't know a ton about yo-yoing, there are basically three types of yo-yos. There's like looping and responsive yo-yos that come right back to your hand. These were really popular in the 90s and the 80s. There's now unresponsive yo-yos that are like for really uh, complex string tricks. And then there's off-string yo-yos that do what they're called. They come off the string. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you all the different types of yo-yos that I have, including some other yo-yos that are, maybe aren't technically yo-yos, but let's go to my very first yo-yo. I know I said this was my first yo-yo, but really my first, first ever yo-yo, my mom sent me this in the mail and it's a yo-yo ball. And I probably had this when I was a toddler and uh, it's super 90s looking as you can tell, but I, uh, I bought some more just for myself the same company and then I even have a couple more over here to give away to some toddlers uh, and people in my life that I want to get into yo-yoing okay I'm, I'm just gonna do it let's move first to all of my looping yo-yos I'm gonna show you them right now first up on the list I have two looper 720 Shua Takata yo-yos. If you guys don't know who Shua Takata is, he's that guy that was on America's Got Talent recently. He is incredible, all right? So you gotta have some of these. Um, talking to one of my friends, Aaron Grouper, he looped some of these yo-yos a ton. The next I have a, a Yo Mega yo-yo. This is a brain. Uh, I have two oracles from Yo-Yo Factory. Uh, no, not Yo-Yo Factory. Oh yeah, actually Yo-Yo Factory. They do make these. You buy these from Yo-Tricks. Shout out to Yo-Tricks.com. They're awesome. And that's where I've learned all of my Yo-Yo tricks. You download this app. Maybe I'll put a link in the description. I, I will. I'll put a link in the description to download this app with your parents' permission. Uh, if you're a kid, if you're an adult, do whatever you want, all right? Buy $100 worth of yo-yos and download this app for free, and then you can see all these different yo-yo tutorials. But uh, they sell yo-yos on the app too, and I got these when I was trying to get into looping. I'm still not that good, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get there. I know a lot of other people that are way better than me, like Aaron Gruber, who you looped this yo-yo over 200 times. It was crazy. Another yo-yo factory, it is a match. This one is my light up yo-yo. That is really cool because when you spin it, it lights up and it's the limelight. It's a Duncan yo-yo. It's one of my only Duncan yo-yos. I have a wooden yo-yo. Next, I have another Duncan. This is an Imperial yo-yo. I've seen these at like Disney World, I believe, like giant ones on the grounds. And you can get these at Walmart. A lot of kids that I know have been buying these when they've seen that I've gotten into yo-yo, but they're only like $4. They're honestly not really good if you wanna get really good at yo-yoing, but they are pretty fun uh, to play with anyways, and they're pretty durable too. Next, I have one if you went to Minnesota Kids Camps, and these are also at dollar stores. I bet like Oriental Trading Company sells these, but I bought one for like $4 just because I wanted to have one in my collection. I have some Spin Stars from Yo-Yo Factory. These are super beginner yo-yos. I have two 
crystal yo-yos from Magic Yo-Yo Company. You can get these on Amazon. If you're looking for an awesome beginner yo-yo, I highly recommend Magic Yo-Yos on Amazon because they'll help you get to know the few basic tricks and they're a lot better than like a Duncan yo-yo from Walmart, all right? Duncan does sell good yo-yos, but not the ones at Walmart. Next, I have a Atom Smasher from Yo-Yo Factory. That's a pretty I fun yo-yo. Did the DNA with this a bunch at Wisconsin Gift Camps this year. Hey! Hey! Then I have the Yo-Yo Factory Overthrow. Not my favorite yo-yo, but pretty fun. It's metal and plastic. Then I have some of my first yo-yos, like the first two metal yo-yos that I ever had were right here. These are both off Amazon. This is a Weighty Boo yo-yo. Pretty fun, has some vibe to it now. And this is a Yo-Yo King Ghost yo-yo. The Holy Ghost though, all right? The Holy Ghost. Next, I have another Weighty Boo. Then I have, I call these Haley's yo-yos. Haley, how are you? She's good. And she yo-yos with these yo-yos right here. A Weighty Boo and a Yo-Yo King. This one is a metal and I put a responsive bearing in it for her so she could learn some responsive tricks. And this one is unresponsive and she is getting pretty good. I have the variant. This one right here is from Down Under, Australia from Brandon Vu and it's pretty fun. When I yo-yo with it, with the black light on, it looks pretty dope. Um, I have two ascents from him. These are beginner yo-yos too. They have like little dots right here to put your uh, finger in so you can do DNAs and stuff even with those. I have some of my favorite yo-yos from Evan Nagao. These are the Edge FS yo-yos. He won the latest national American title with this yo-yo right here, a green Edge FS. And I have three Edge FS's, red, green, blue. They're so awesome. I love these yo-yos. Highly recommend these yo-yos. They're just one type of metal. They're like $35, $40, and they are durable and sturdy. They're awesome. Then I have two of his newer versions of the Edge FS. These are Edge, F Edge FS's that are 2.0. I, I can't even say that. Edge FS 2.0's silver. They're really awesome too. They have a bigger uh, finger spin hole right there so you can do DNAs and hit it real good. I have a Shua Takata. Like I said, Shua Takata was the guy who has these yo-yos in his name. Um, a lot of yo-yo players have these in their name, but this is the Sugar. I kind of have a novelty yo-yo up next. This yo-yo is the Mighty Flea, okay? And it is one of the world's smallest yo-yos. It is like smaller than a quarter, as you can tell. You need special string, special bearings, and I can barely yo-yo with it, but I have it just to say that I have it. Then I have a Horizon. I got this one pretty early on into my yo-yo career. Let's go on to some of my Gentry Stein collection. He is the current world champion. I have the DNA. I hit the DNA with this a ton at Wisconsin Kids Camps. It's got this finger spin cap right there, specifically designed for hitting the DNA. Then I have two shutters. Shutters are probably one of the world's most popular yo-yos. If you have ever seen yo-yo tricks on TikTok or Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts or whatever, you've probably seen somebody do the Godspeed. And this is Angel Two Up's Godspeed. That's pretty crazy. I also have his Halo, a Deviant right here. This is really awesome. I have a, a ceramic bearing in here too, so it's super smooth. I practice my horizontals with this yo-yo, and I'm not really good at horizontals yet, but I will be, because I'm still learning. I have the Winter Solstice right here. You can hit the DNA so smooth with this, and I have its brother right here, the Summer Solstice. I play with this one a ton too. Then I have the Atlas. This one's great for horizontals because it's so wide. Now off to my off-string yo-yo collection here. I don't have many, I only have six. I have three Spires and I have three of them because they are my favorite and I wanna try to get into Solo Ham, which is two off-string yo-yos on one string. 
Then I have these three off-string yo-yos, all from Yo-Yo Factory. Um, they're all semi-different. This was my first off-string, and I got super into it. Every single yo-yo is like a snowflake. They're all unique and they're all special. That's why you need so many. Right, Haley? Mm -hmm. She said, mm-hmm. I think that was all of my actual yo-yos, but I have a ton more stuff that I use for yo-yoing. Like these things right here. I made a bunch of these, and let me tell you, if you're an E-Kids, or like near me around Bismarck, North Dakota, and you show me your yo-yo, this is the deal I'm making with you. I will give you one of these. Wherever you go, you can take one of these, put it over the yo-yo, tighten it up with that cord stopper, and then you have a little carabiner right here to put it on your belt loop. I have a bunch of these things. These are multi-tools from Yo-Yo Factory. Different yo-yo lubes to lube the bearings with. That's really important to keep your yo-yo smooth. I have so much string. These are 100 packs of kitty string, fat. All this to say, I am very passionate about yo-yos, but I'm 10 times more passionate about Jesus. So keep being passionate. Right right now though, I think I need to count all my yo-yos. Let's see how many yo-yos I have. Here we go. One, four, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, I gotta recount. I don't know if I counted that one. I'd have to rewatch the ins. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 yo-yos. 54 yo-yos and two in the mail. Don't tell Haley. But that's my yo-yo collection. And right now I gotta learn one more yo-yo trick because I have on the Yo Tricks app learned 199 yo-yo tricks this year. And I told myself that I wanted to learn 200 by the end of the year. And it's really doable because I have several weeks, but I'm gonna go try to learn a yo-yo trick right now and get to 200 in this video. Are you ready? Come with me. Let's try to find a yo-yo trick first. So I went on my Yo Tricks app where I'm at level 75. I found a trick that's a variation of another trick called the cheese whip, but this one's called the Dorito. This is the cheese whip triangle. Some people call it the Dorito. It looks like this. I have to learn this yo-yo trick. How many times have I said the word yo-yo in this video? Anyways, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna use the summer solstice. And I know a couple tricks like this. To get into a green triangle, all you really need to do is go like that, and then there's a triangle right there. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Yo-yoing is a constant grind. If you really want to get good at it, feel comfortable with it, you have to do it all the time. Practice, practice, practice. It's kind of like our relationship with God in that way. Prayer, reading your Bible, worship, sharing your faith with other people that kind of make you nervous. You just got to do it. You got to practice. This yo-yo trick took me so long and I couldn't understand it at first. I couldn't even comprehend it. But the cool thing is, the more you do something like this, the easier it gets. The more you do it, the closer you are to success. Oh! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's finish that off with the DNA, baby. Subscribe and like this video and comment what yo-yo was your favorite. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, cut. I just got a package, a very expensive yo-yo. I won't say how much it cost. I'll just put it right there. It's a pretty nice yo-yo. It's a bimetal yo-yo. Oh my goodness, look at that bad boy. It was a pretty penny. I like how it feels.
that's nice. <laughs>